Construction Coach here. Today's video is Deck Foundations 101. If you want to build a beautiful deck like this, you got to start with a solid foundation. There is a quite a few options when it comes to deck piles or foundations. If you have good bearing soil, the minimum is a 10 inch pile dug four foot to four foot six in depth. That depth is so important because of frost heaving. In different regions where the soil bearing capacity is low, something like this Bigfoot would have to be used in conjunction with the 10 inch tube to gain a larger bearing on the soil. So this is what I'll be doing at the cabin. And this is what I've done in the city where I live in. So these are three hours apart from each other where this is unnecessary in the bigger city. The ground there is a lot different. The soil is way more dense. The clay is way more packed. Uh, and where I'm at at the cabin here, the soil is way more sandy and um, not as bearing strong. So this Bigfoot will give me about three times the bearing capacity. And not to confuse you guys anymore, but screw piles are another option. Using a skid steer or a backhoe, metal augers, something similar to this bit, with poles on them will get augged into the ground, getting those fins down to below that four, four foot six depth. Now those fins will sit on undisturbed bearing soil, and that's how the screw pile works. Um, bearing the, the fins down on that soil, not allowing it to push further down into the earth. Uh, the metal pipe is usually cut off and a plate is installed or a saddle would be installed. Now, you're gonna see in this video that I will put saddles on um, uh, higher tubes that are out of the ground where I'm gonna put a lengthy post. Uh, a couple of the jobs I've got, just an inch and a half spacer. Saddle's not really required in that situation. It's more of a patio style deck, so we, I just put some pressure treated blocks in there and uh, secure them with uh, some scabs of wood on the side. So um, saddle, 10 inch uh, cardboard form, Bigfoot. These come in multiple different sizes. In this video, we'll go through four different sites with a couple of different methods starting out at my cabin. Let's go. My friend Eric and I have four piles marked out with white paint. We will use this 40 volt, eight inch Ryobi auger to loosen up the earth. And we are digging a 28 inch diameter hole, four foot to four foot six inches deep. I'm using a 10 inch form tube and a 24 inch Bigfoot. After pouring concrete, I will embed a six inch by six inch saddle to hold the post. The spacing is just over five feet apart. The deck will have a full roof over it and could hold a lot of snow. Now that we are at our target depth, I will pack the hole to firm it up. Clean out your hole perfectly before packing. Never add soil. It needs to be undisturbed for bearing. Now that the hole is perfect, I will prep the Bigfoot and form tube. Form tubes come in different sizes, so mark the Bigfoot leaving one fin inside the form tube and cut. Once cut, fit the tube over the fin and screw four to six one inch wood screws. Now let's see how it fits. Line up on layout lines and start backfilling. I have to do all four dug in like this and backfill, call for a building inspection before I can pour concrete and set the saddles. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos on this seven by 16 foot deck. It will be a simple build that I can really go over the details. Full roof over it with beautiful brushed copper handrails matching the upper balcony. Now let's get over to the next job where I had space for a skid steer and a 12 inch auger bit. The soil here is much more dense so I'm only using a 10 inch form tube in a 12 inch diameter hole. When doing layout for piles, I will shovel a pilot hole so the auger bit stays where I need it to. 
Then we will pull the soil back with the shovel while auging to prevent it from falling back in the hole. This was 14 piles in an hour. Then we have to remove all loose soil in the holes, proof pack, and set the tubes. My brother is the best. He was always there for me on deck pile days. Now all these piles are backfilled and depth is verified, it's time to pour concrete. I've elevated all the forms an inch and a half below the deck structure so I won't be installing saddles on these piles. We poured these all by hand using pails and a concrete company that lets you hook a trailer cart full of concrete to your truck and deliver to your own site. This saves a lot of mixing bags. This would have been between 70 and 75 bags of concrete. Look at how bad the yard was graded under the old deck. This is a beautiful multi-level cedar deck built in 2012 and still looks amazing today. My brother and I couldn't get a skid steer in this yard, so we rented a two-person auger, 12-inch bit, and a bit extension to get that 4 foot 6 depth. Here's some shots of that finished deck. I have a video of this whole build in the deck playlist. Now let's get to site 4 where we can have a look at screw piles. This whole building is sitting on a grid of screw piles. Now I will build a deck out front on the piles across the front and a driving range platform will be built on all the piles to the left. What a fun interesting build. The screw piles were definitely a cost savings in this situation. They replaced the need for a conventional foundation under the whole building. So easy to elevate and no concrete required. These ones are heavy for residential use, but I know there are many companies offering backyard ones perfect for decks installed with a skid steer. Wow, look at the transformation of this building. Real stone veneer around the front door, raw steel horizontal panels on the right, and black horizontal panels on the left. I built these stairs and many more. Stay tuned for Stair Building 101.